go to rajahollowayhomes.com. Hey guys, I'm on location at a very cool little outdoor patio. And even though it's raining today, they've got a little cover on it here. It's one of my favorite spots. It's in downtown Waxhaw. And usually Jack's sitting right next to me. Uh, and last week, week before, I'm sitting right here. And right there at that next table, the mayor's wife of Waxhaw. And she's quite an entity in her own right. So I've been thinking about retiring and relocating to the greater Charlotte area. What does that look like? I'm thinking about doing a reverse engineering by getting on a plane and going to New York into Long Island. Got a lot of calls from Long Island. And uh, there happens to be a play that I want to go see there. Yeah, not Broadway, but in Long Island. So thinking about doing that. But if you're thinking about retiring and relocating to the greater Charlotte area, what are your concerns? Now, I, I went in, I've been using Bing's new AI chat feature, and I just, hey, write, write me a little article about retiring and relocating to the greater Charlotte area, pros and cons. Now, as I said, it's raining right now. I just did one of these in my car, and I was driving around a 55 plus thinking, you know what? If this were way up north where a lot of our calls come from, a lot of our clients relocating this way, this could be snow. How many inches of snow would, would that be? I don't mind the rain. And just coming to a place like this is just fun. And uh, I didn't bring Jack because it's raining. Everybody loves him when it's dry, but not so much when he's wet. Uh, so what are some of the reasons people move here? I was kind of going over my highlighted list that the uh, Bing Chat AI talked about, and they talk about walkability as a con. You know, when I was driving around a few minutes ago doing that first video, I thought, I can't think of any cons. I can't, you know, just driving around, I can't think of any. But now I got my notes back and they say, well, walkability. Residents typically need a car to get from one neighborhood to another. Well, yeah, most places, you know, and yet in the 55 plus communities, if you're a subscriber, you know my wife and I just moved into one. If you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. And yet, walkability, yeah, I walk down to the mailbox uh, cluster to get my mail with Jack. Stop by a little area that I call Jack's Park. He likes to run in that and occasionally defecate. Uh, and now the amenity center being built, I'll be able to walk to the amenity center in just a few minutes. And if I'm looking for my wife who's gone missing, she might be right down there on the pickleball courts. There will be 12. Uh, and there, there'll be friends down there. I'll make a lot of great friends in this new neighborhood, as is the wife. And so, you know, outdoor pool, uh, there'll be gym facility, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, ha having it handy like that. It's going to be an outdoor, uh, you know, kind of a lawn venue for bands. We had a first concert a week ago at the parking lot. So walkability in a 55 plus neighborhood, you might have just about everything that Uncle John needs. Now, yeah, you got to drive to go get groceries or go to the movie, uh, that type of thing. But walkability, I don't know, get a bike, get a motorized bike. We're thinking about doing that. And then cons in this area, they brought up public transportation and they brought up the CATS system. That's the Charlotte Area Transportation System. Now we're having kind of a bad stretch right now with CATS. There's been uh, a lot of uh, brouhaha about some uh, inefficiencies in the management of it, et cetera. But we've got a very cool light rail that when it's running, it's running well from one side of Charlotte all the way through uptown, all the way to the other. So that's not bad. Uh, and then there's a small little trolley, more kind of a fun thing to ride. And then there, you know, there are other things, but you can kind of do your own research on that. And you might consider, uh, you know, that as a con, uh, but yet the bus system is running. Is it late? I don't know, probably. But, um, and then another thing was safety that they brought up. And you know, it's interesting about safety. There's a, a website called areavibes.com. And uh, in our neighborhood that we just came from, which is very close to Waverly, really nice, Toll Brothers neighborhood, kind of upscale neighborhood. I checked my uh, my crime rate statistics on Area Vibes, and that really nice neighborhood uh, in a really nice part of South Charlotte had a C minus in crime. Really? Okay, why? Well, people do stupid stuff, leave their purse. Oh, wait a minute, did I leave my purse on my car seat over here? Just kidding. People leave their purse and leave it unlocked. Well, that's not a good idea. So yeah, the criminals live over there, but they come work over in my neighborhood. So be smart, right? So that's not a big thing, but really 
even this article says that there's a dynamic and diverse city. And I found that to be true. People that are looking for an active and fulfilling lifestyle. I know that to be true. Uh, I've been south about 15 years. I've been here about 12. And so I'm digging it. And right, another thing on the pros is culture and entertainment. Uh, you know, I'm just looking today, I printed out a ticket. I'm going to a, uh, an event about Miles Davis and John Coltrane, jazz legends. There's a play about it and that's gonna be great. My wife's not interested, but I'm going. Uh, there's some great jazz stuff that I go to, live jazz at uh, Jazz Arts. Um, so there's a lot of that. And music, you know, we go to the Fab Fest. My wife and I like to go to that, the Beatles tribute. Uh, uh, there's the Tosco Music Festival, who puts on the Fab Fest. They have concerts, they had one the other night. A very diverse and interesting group. You could uh, Google Tosco Music Party, TMP. But there's a rich cultural sense a mild climate and it's a great location we love to have you i'm a real estate broker i've got a great team of brokers we can help you buy or sell here in charlotte but mostly we're getting calls from relocation so hit that phone call me do not reach out to any builder directly under any circumstances if you do you're stupid and uh call me and i'll tell you why why you're stupid now just don't do it call me and i'll tell you why starting with a real estate broker is the way to buy a house when you're retiring and relocating to the greater Charlotte area. Thanks, I'll see you in the next video. You wanna see a little peek of downtown Waxhaw? Well, look at that cloud cover, it's Go nice.